stepping into that back line. Ayala will sit next to Diego Char. That should provide plenty of cover in front of that back line here tonight for the team. He's been really good in training and proving himself. Although Yaro has been strong, he wanted to get Kes uh, Kessler on the field. Next but it was St. Louis City who got a win against Portland to get that far in the tournament. In the round of 32, we're underway tonight here in Portland, Oregon. City and the Timbers clashing at Copa America during the summer. So still yet to record his first MLS shutout. Evander from distance, and that's easy for Berkey in the end as like he shuffles to his left. I like that turn early on. That's a way to get the crowd into the map. Near post ball, and it's headed in! Just like that. His corner Some kicks from wide areas, a real weakness for the Portland Timbers. Just not enough physical play in there where Betcher's able to... Secondary service intended for Araujo. Here is Evander one more time. Entry pass for Mosquera. Big save from Berkey. Is there a second bite of the cherry? Moreno will send it in. And now here's a transition moment. Toysher waits for the overlapping run. It's Betcher looking for his second. And a point to the penalty spot. I think that is a point to the spot after the tackle from Araujo. You take a look here, just releases that ball at the first time. Good first touch out in front of him. And Araujo just going right through him. We'll see a little bit more here as we slow it down. And 100% a penalty just arriving so late. Getting Betcher's foot stuck under him. Betcher actually does a great job of releasing that as quickly as possible. Crepo. Can he come up with a big save here? It's Lubin! It's 2 nothing for St. Louis City, and the confidence is brimming. Same way, you can guess the right direction, but I'm going top bins. Just an unstoppable. We're in the top of their form going into Leagues Cup. Early ball for Mora. Tries to knot it down, and that one's pushed just wide by Santi Moreno. We'll see if they can come back to life here tonight. A goal would certainly change the complexity of the halftime talk. It's Mora into the back post, and there it is! On cue! On their second best build-up play of the night. Look how quickly they attack with pace. Evander committed to lay that ball off, put them into a dangerous position. With the long ball forward for Thorson. Nods it down there for Betcher. Toysher out in front, and here comes the right-footed shot from Hartel, saved by Crepo, and it starts the movement back the other way, but only for a moment for the Timbers. Durkin. Thorson, big save from Crepo, using the left paw to parry it away, and out for the second corner of this first half. They'll tee up their second. Out toward the penalty spot. Right-footed effort, and it's in! Individual efforts. You see this in-swinger come in, but it's actually clipped to the back post. Nobody on him. And there's but a huge effort and a fantastic goal and a big moment for St. Louis City to go up 3-1 before the half. Out in front, and a chance to pull one right back, and it bangs off the woodwork. Tougher to not score than it is to score right there for Felipe Mora. As Rodriguez comes central here and has that shot deflected out wide to Mosquera. Secondary service onto the feet of Mora in front for Evander and a massive save from Borky. Three, four players forward in hopes that you commit too many numbers forward and now they're springing out in transition. Leuven weighted ball over the top. It's Totland just inside the edge of the 18 on the return pass, and the Norwegian outside back, offside, as the flag immediately goes up. Block it all off, but you can see at times St. Louis are going to continue to press higher up the field. Quick throw, sparks the attack. In front, Mora! He's denied by Borky, and that's why the Swiss keeper is a two-time MLS All-Star. Trying to serve it into the back post. It's a good ball, headed in front, and Mora will pull one back. Right back to the middle of the park. And it's an easy tap in for Mora on the head to bring this stadium back to life.
and bring this game much closer together. Sure, Brazilian designated player has a goal contribution as he assists that goal for Mora. Thorson to the far side and right back. I told you it might take four. Oh, brilliance. Not enough pressure on the ball quick enough. You stand off him. He I do think they found some success. Moreno spinning onto his left foot will leave it for Evander. Back onto his right and Evander right out in front and it's pulled back. Lewis City have to make decisions. Who steps, who stays. They create space for themselves. And that ball has just enough bend on it. Berkey unable to gobble that. And it looks like maybe Phil Neville going to go to his bench one more time as Mason Toy is awaiting to come in. Headed to the back post and in! And hang on a minute, hang on a minute. Referee Rami Touchant immediately went over to the far side AR. Couldn't hold the possession. Portland battling to try and win it. And Williamson will. Durkin. And a red card for Felipe Mora. Delicious. But we'll see here. Oh, that right there at the end. Deep on his line, Evander looking for the near post. Oh, my days! Golasso! I mean, look at him line up over this one. Even with Berkey trying to cheat a little bit, he waits. The Timbers never drew level until second half stoppage time and threw an absolute banger from Evander, their star designated player. They find a point.